Hello everyone, welcome back to another video and in today's video I'll be doing a kickoff tutorial like what to do as the second man and I got a comment a while back ago and a few comments in the past going over what to do as a second man sort of in a way so I thought I'd answer those all in this video and go over some strategies and kickoff ideas that could help as the second man as well as the third man if you're playing threes. So without further ado, let's get into it. Alright, we're gonna hop quickly into training to kind of go over the ideas of the second man and the second man is to back up the first man in a kickoff so let's say the first man goes for the kickoff here and they hit the ball the second man should be here if it's a yet again diagonal and you're the second man and you're across here your idea is to get this ball and gain possession or shoot if you can and score but the main goal as I said in the kickoff video I did a little bit ago, your main idea is to gain possession. So let's say if the ball goes this way, your goal is to, you know, take possession from the uh, opponents and, you know, do whatever with it. And that's pretty much the idea for third man as well. Third man might be a little different depending on what kickoff strategies you may have for threes. But twos, since it is more of my game mode, I'll be going over twos more than threes. But yeah, let's get into it. All right, hopping into uh, the first replay in this, mind you, is a, like, some. This honestly spanned the range of all 1700. I'm the lowest in the lobby here, around 1720-ish, and the highest in lobby is someone on the other team that was around, like, 1780. So we're, we're in GC3 lobbies here, so just keep that in mind. But right here, I will be the second man in the kickoff, and you may, want, may be wondering, how do I do that? And... The main thing here is, if you guys aren't aware, is you flip towards this boost and see how the ball turns out, right? I grab this boost, a kind of shadow, and right now I'm trying to... I've become the first man in the rotation of twos. So my goal here is to get the ball off the opponent and get it to my teammate or the other team. I could have done something here, but that ends up being a goal right after after a few plays but the main thing here with this beginning kickoff is as the second man i follow up and there's different types of cheats there's the hard cheat there's the soft cheat or however you describe them but essentially it's how much as a second man you commit to the ball and i was playing with uh someone the other day and it really, uh, right, they're around C3, low GC1, and the difference between kickoffs between uh, a rank such as I, or even higher, right, the speed at which the kickoff happens and, like, the reaction time and where the second man is can change the, the way of the goal, or way of the play, not the goal, way of the play, and, you know, uh... Yeah, but onto the second kickoff here. He gets a nice little air dribble into the net. Right here, I'm the first man, so I'll be switching to my teammate here just to see what he does. Now, right here, he doesn't cheat up, right? This is totally fine, right? He calls for the boost. I get it to the wrong corner. Usually, when I hear a need boost, I usually think, oh, they're going to the right corner. So I tried to get it to the right. He wasn't there, unfortunately, but... You know, he's taking the defensive turn. He knows I have like zero, very low boost at least. And that I can't, you know, be there to challenge for him, right? I'm gonna try and do my best, but I can only do so much. But yeah, and then somehow they miss and we get a goal. They also don't score that. And I turn around and get us a goal. <laughs> But I mainly wanted to go over this replay here because of so many different kickoff situations we have. Like, this is regular cheat. I kind of soft cheat here. I kind of expect the ball to go up. And the reason I expected that to happen is kind of the way my teammate flipped. Is he was far to the side. He did flip back into the middle of the ball. But I was kind of it's the way the opponent's like name tag flicks up like last second. I'm like, oh, the ball might go up. But, you know, 
doesn't happen, so I try to get possession of the ball. I fail in doing that, I use up my boost and I don't flip towards the boost, so I lose that interaction there, but it kind of goes right to my teammate, and the play goes out through there. I'm not going to focus on the plays afterwards to kickoff, I'm going to be focusing mainly just on the kickoffs. So if I scoot a little further ahead to the next kickoff, we get a goal out of this, and boom. Onto the next stuff here. Right here, I'm going to be grabbing this pad, I believe. Yeah, this pad and flipping in the middle. And as you can notice, the ball, I'm a little further behind. So this guy can very much beat me to the ball here. But since I'm further back and I use a little bit of boost, I can tie it. And luckily, my 50 goes, go, <laughs> goes towards my teammate. So he can follow up the play. And I try to get in an aggressive position, make the... Defense feel off, but then, you know, I, I just got a shout out to my, my defense here. Big bang. No goal off for them. And, yeah, they do get a goal back, but, you know, it's unfortunate. But right here, yet again, set up. This time I cheat a little bit further in. He goes more out wide, and he gets his momentum a little bit faster than mine because I have to slow down, right? And he can just, you know, flip and keep his momentum going, which is why the grabbing the pad and playing wide is yet again another option for uh, second man, right? There's many different options and stuff. So I have, a, I have a little bit of a stuffed nose. The weather's quite cold where I am, so. But yet again, as I said in the very beginning of this replay here, uh, I flip towards the middle, I grab the boost. This time the ball goes up. I'm gonna try to get around my teammate stay on the play i get bumped unfortunately and yeah let me scoot towards another goal here because i remember them doing a very unfortunate type of kickoff unfortunately i get scored on there teammate bumped him a little bit to give him a little more momentum but if we go back to my teammate here he calls for the need boost again yet again i don't know why i just didn't learn that uh he always goes left but defensive form here for him Tried to get it from him, didn't, he chows, I can't recover in time, and that's a goal. Unfortunate, but, you know, it happens. Right here, I'm second man, though. I'm gonna be cheating up. And what they do here is called a Spanish. I'm gonna let the rest of the play go, because I dodged him last second. I felt like, uh, what's his face, Lightning McQueen from uh, Cars, just dodging everyone, like, last second or something. And then I, I dime it to my teammate, because he's expecting... A free net where he can take his time. And then, boom. A free goal. That kind of solidifies our lead. And, you know, I'm second man here again. I'm going to grab the boost yet again. And the ball goes up. And I can just score the ball. All right, and then they forfeit. But, if we go back to this play here. And we go to their side. This is their second man. So, they call the Spanish here. You can see he completely stops, right? His momentum completely does not go forward toward this ball. And I'm there right on the ball. Mainly because the first guy missed by not a lot, right? But he missed and it led towards a open net and a goal. Alright, I'm not saying that happens every time. But if we watch the first man here, and this is a, a way to dodge them, is usually like last second. <laughs> Last second, you can, it kind of shows what they're doing, and it's it's harder to read the better they are at it. So luckily, the guy missed me, didn't get the demo, and we turned it around and got a goal. So that's <laughs> that's what you're looking for on the uh, defensive end, kind of countering the Spanish. Other than that, it's the first man. Like, my teammate here uh, would hit the ball. That would be the other great scenario. Like, a big, like, chip to the left corner or the right corner, either or. That would have been good, too. But, yeah. That's twos. That's just one game situation. I'm going to go find another one for another twos match. I'll see you guys there. Hey, guys. Editing me here. Just to come in quickly and say thank you for watching the video to this point so far. If you are enjoying the content at all. 
please make sure to hit that sub button because at 2k subs i'll be doing a face reveal and giving away a few free uh coaching sessions other than that hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video and i'll see you later all right we got another twos replay here i'm gonna go over threes replay here right after this so if you're interested in threes uh stay stick along with me but this is like the last twos replay i have for kickoff set uh i think i remember happening but Right here, this is in my last 2v2 video that I did for my Red to SSL. And this was the rank up game to GC3. So right now, as I did in the last games, this time I hard cheat, or last game, this time I hard cheat. So I kind of go in more to the center. As you can see, me and the other second man would have probably tied the ball. If not, he's a little bit closer, but the ball goes up and over me. So right here, I try to sell a touch and recover, and that's kind of how that kickoff play will end. Like, he'll take it back to his corner, and that kind of dissolves the kickoff play. But right here at second man, the ball goes over my head, right? So my goal here is protect the net. I know my teammate doesn't have the most boost since he just went for kickoff. I'm going to have to make a defensive effort, stall the ball, and kind of react to the next play as first man again. Or, if my teammate challenges first, then rotate to the second man and play more defensive role. Since it is on our side, right? Or going to be on our side. And that is that first play. The second play here. Uh, yeah, just get a normal goal. But the second play here, I'm first man. So we'll look at my teammate here. He flips forward, so this is another way of doing the same thing that I did in the first kickoff for this game, but keeping your momentum kind of forward, watching the bounce, and challenging that, right? But if I were, if I'm, let's say, watching the first man here, and I come into this kickoff, I kind of win this ball here. It's bouncing and it's still up. My teammate does commit, and it leaves me last man. But if done properly, I can stall and wait for my teammate, and which is pretty much what I do. So on to this next kickoff here. Teammate gets a goal there. If you want to see the whole game and me uh, commentate over it, uh, the video's in the channel. Or on the channel, not in the channel. <laughs> right here, just like the first kickoff and just like the second kickoff, I'm just going to flip and go for a cheat. You really don't see that many different uh interactions i guess for kickoffs like once you hit a certain rank they're almost always the same different outcomes of course but almost always the same of the second man cheating or the second man going back for the corner boost there's really not that much else that differentiates but if let's say you call for the spanish like i showed in the first match or if you do some sort of different type of like I've seen the kickoff recently where someone comes up one of the sides like either close left side or close right side and the ball goes right to them and they can just shoot the ball right or they can take it off somewhere like hit it off the wall and go for a double or something like that right here it's probably no different teammates gonna cheat he's gonna play off my kickoff and the ball goes up right so it's a race for the boost for them like the two second man's and then I just, I go up for a little, little reset, 30 boost reset. <laughs> Luckily get a pop over the first defender and got a pass boot. The spooda, by the way. <laughs> but uh, yeah, there's not much difference in twos from like either games. The main thing is just if the ball goes over your head as second man, you kind of want to get to a spot where you can defend it right away or to where if you can like time the shot like time to save with the shot uh that's really all i have uh information wise for that otherwise just try to hit the ball to your corner and collect the boost as the second man if the ball goes over your head but i'll try to find the threes match and i'll see you guys there all right i found a threes match just real quick at the end of the video i found a threes match and this is not the highest lobby ever of mmr or rank wise but you know i think it's still a learning opportunity right here i'm second man but it's the same kind of idea as twos, which is why it's at the end here, because the only thing different 
is the third man option for strategically losing it to the second or third man, right? In threes. Get the demo somehow there. But, yeah. Not much really changes. I'm going to try and get to the next kickoff here. But, yeah, it's not really that much different. <laughs> so, let's kind of lose it. Get the bomb. And then the third man can have the ball, right? There's just becomes a little more options, a little more range for the kickoff, like set plays or plays, whatever you want to call them. And that's really it. Like, I'm mainly first man or second man on kickoffs here. I try to lose it to a corner. Their main thing in threes is to lose it to a corner so that one of your, your second man or third man can get to the ball. And that's pretty much it, right? Other than that, it's just like twos kickoffs. And I already kind of went over ones kickoffs in the uh, video before. So, yeah. Other than that, I hope you guys all enjoyed, and uh, I hope to see you all in the next one. Have a very nice day, very good night, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.